Hello, everybody, and welcome to this video where today we are going to teach you, the beginner who's never done this before, how to write a freaking poem. We are going to hit a couple things here because if you are like interested in poetry and you want to write poetry, you've probably already searched a bunch of videos like this. For the most part, I'm going to assume that a lot of these videos said a little bit of the same thing, but then would like say you have to do this and you have to do this and you have to do this yada 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 whatever i am going to make this so freaking easy for you okay there is basically two schools of poetry okay there, there's more but we're just going to make this like super simple there are two schools of poetry there is i'll even do it like this there is your academic poetry and then your there's your free verse poetry now can you have free verse poetry and academia? Of course you can. What I'm gonna tell you is, is most of the people who are telling you how to write poetry on YouTube are telling you how to write formal verse or how to write more academic poetry. The reason why is because with regular free verse poetry, there are absolutely no rules. You can do whatever the fuck you want, okay? And typically, when someone like you is watching a video like this, really all you're looking for is permission to go ahead and write a poem. And you have that permission now, okay? You didn't need it from me, but I'm giving it to you if you needed to hear it from somebody. The other thing is, is that if most people who have poetry channels or who teach poetry let you know that you can do whatever you want, it makes what they do obsolete. There's no purpose for them. If you're allowed to do whatever you want and you don't have to ask for help or look at anything. Now that you know that you don't need any fucking help and you can do whatever the fuck you want. If you want to fucking write poetry that's like just like a giant block of text, like prose poetry, do that. If you want to write poems that are like three words a line for three lines, do that. If you want to write a poem that's like one word on every line, do that. If you want to write a poem that when you're done writing it, it looks like the face of a fucking clown, fucking do that. You can do anything you want. It doesn't matter. Free verse poetry is getting more and more popular and i think a lot of it has to do with the idea that mental health people taking care of themselves on the inside is as popular as it is right now and also as accepted as it is right now the more this stuff is going to be accepted the more somebody writing about what's going on in their fucking soul and how they're getting through the day is going to be something that's applauded you know, this is okay to do. You don't have to be pansy sniffing, posy writing anything to be able to say how you feel on the inside and write it out and share that with somebody. Everyone does it, okay? Or everyone can do it. Whether they do it or not, that's a whole other fucking thing. If you want to learn formal verse, you totally can do that. And there are places where you could do that. But you're going to be facing this idea that art is objective and not subjective. Meaning, when you have objective art, which is a fucking oxymoron, like when I hear people say that. When you have objective art, that means there is a right way and a wrong way to do something. When you have subjective art, this goes back to beauties in the eye of the beholder. Like there are some bands that you like that your friends don't. There are some movies that you love that people you know hate. There are some pieces of art that you think are fucking beautiful and other people you know think that it, look, it looks like somebody blew their nose on a piece of paper. Okay, That's what subjective art 
is. If you go the more academic or the more formal route, you will not have that anymore as much because you're going to have people telling you, this is good, this is good, this is good, this is not good. This metaphor is bad, blah, 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 blah. And they're going to go down the whole fucking list and do this whole thing. Now, again, the only reason why that exists is because if it didn't, that motherfucker wouldn't have a fucking job. Okay. So getting outside of all of that shit, you don't need anyone to tell you how to do anything. Do whatever the fuck you want. The whole reason why I started the Poetic Anarchy course and Poetic Anarchy Press is because I want people to know there are no fucking rules. Do whatever the fuck you want. Feel good while you do it, and that's it. And there's this one poem I had. The poem talks about blood, okay? And the poem, I think, is called Blood is Blood. Actually, I could just look it up right now and read it to you. I'll just fucking do that. Blood is blood. Slice your throat and bleed out. Get a paper cut. Drip a drop. Blood is blood. The size of the wound isn't the poetry, it's the bleeding, okay? The whole idea with this is, is that it doesn't matter how you do anything. It depends on what you fucking did, okay? So all you need to do is just like fucking cut yourself and bleed on that fucking page, that's art. That's poetry. That's the thing. So all you need to do is be honest and spill. That's it. Like if you have a question, like what's, what about metaphor? Or like blah, blah, blah. Let me know down below and I'll do a video on what these things are. It's just that I've had this channel forever and somebody pointed out to me that I've never done how to write poetry for beginners video. So, um, Adam... Thank you. I appreciate you. It's not hard and it's cathartic as fuck. Um, just fucking do the thing. Okay. So if you found this video interesting, I have a shit ton of writing tip videos. There's probably like 200 or some odd. Watch all those if you want. They're fun. And if you really dig what like I'm throwing down for you here, Hit the join button. You could join the Anarchy Crew. And in the Anarchy Crew, that, there's a whole course of over, um, I think there's almost 200 videos in there too, of like workshops and um, writing prompts and all this other fun stuff. Join the crew. Um, you keep buying my books. I don't have any right here. You get my newest um, collection called um, Winner Your Mom's Sodomy Prize for Poetry on my Etsy shop down below. Or you could get my new chapbook. What the fuck is happening? Also, in my Etsy shop down below. All right, keep buying my books, join the crew, type hard, and I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.